we're going to take a look at the practice 2.4 proofs with some blind spots. <clears throat> so we just need to fill in. Again, uh, I encourage you to keep uh, returning to especially page 14. There are some good uh, reasons on page 13 as well. Um, and in fact, we're going to have to use that on this first problem here. But we are given J is parallel to K. And then that angle 1 and angle 7 are supplementary is what we're going to try to prove. So, in fact, let's go ahead and fill that in right now. Angle 1 and angle 7 are supplementary. But as we go back here, our original statement is that J is parallel to K, and that's given. And the first reason that we have in this uh, proof, the first statement, sorry, is that angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. And what we can say is that that is a definition of supplementary. And um, then what we can do is we can take that idea that angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary and we can rewrite this as the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180 degrees, which still has to do with the definition of supplementary. Our third statement is that angle 2 is congruent to angle 7, so if we mark that up here, angle 2 is congruent to angle 7 here, what we see is that angle 2 is on top of the transversal, and angle 7 is on the bottom of the transversal. And remember, J and K are parallel. So these are on alternate sides, and they are on the interior. So that is going to be the alternate interior angle theorem. That is on page 13, if you need to refer back to that. And consequently, since we can say that angle 2 is congruent to angle 7, our next reason is the definition of congruent angles. So we can say that the measure of angle 2 is um, equal to the measure of angle 7. That's the definition of congruent angles. And now what we can say is that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 7 is 180 degrees. Well, what happens here is that since the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle 7, instead of writing the measure of angle 2 right here, we wrote in the measure of angle 7, which is the substitution. And then our reason is that angle 1 and angle 7 are supplementary.